We may or may not have gotten some interesting news about Jordan Peele's Nope. Let's get into this. What's your favorite scary movie? Everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're talking about Jordan Peele's Nope, specifically a test screening that may or may not have happened. We're gonna get into all that in just a second here, but first I'm gonna need y'all to like this video and subscribe if you're new here. I would greatly appreciate it. So, first of all, today's video is no, not about the hilarious Steph Curry ad that we got for Nope, which is unfortunately really the only legit update we have gotten for the film, but take this all with a grain of salt before I even say anything further, because I this may or may not be true. The reason I'm commenting on it is because I kind of want to talk about, like, what if this movie doesn't have any social commentary behind it, because that's kind of what this um, article suggests from World of Real, which I don't know if that's a legit news website or not. The very little things I know about it is that it's run by a uh, certified, not, I was going to say certified fresh, but a tomato like critic or whatever from Rotten Tomatoes, whatever the hell they're called. Um, something a lot, It's run by basically one of those guys. So it's clearly somebody who's in the industry, not somebody who's just like a, a nobody who's just kind of like making up stuff. Like, unfortunately, some other news websites that I won't name here, but take all of this information with a grain of salt, because I'm not 100% sure how true this could possibly be, but basically he puts out this article, um, Jordan, R Jordan Rumi, Jordan Rummy, whatever his last name is, however you pronounce that, saying that the screening for the screening reaction to Jordan Peele's Nope were mostly negative, which I, like I said, I, <laughs> I guess, uh, he had also tweeted something about how, um, Universal wanted him to take down the article at one point, so like, if Universal asks me to do that, I will gladly comply. No, no problems there. But I do want to discuss this. But basically, the article goes on to say that there was a lack of allegories. There was a lack of metaphors. There wasn't really any social commentary behind this new flick. Now, I just don't necessarily know if that's all true. But let's talk about if that were the case. What if this was just a straight-up alien thriller? Would Jordan Peele fans be disappointed in that? I'd have to say, yeah, I think that would be super disappointing if Jordan Peele just made a straight up alien movie that was something along the lines of like how this article is saying, just a, a different modern day version of signs. I don't think that's the case here. Now the trailer's very vague, so I, it's really, if we were to guess something about what the social commentary of this movie was going to be, it would be kind of anyone's guess. There's really not one thing or the other that's like really like cemented from the trailer. We know very little about it. Heck, we don't, don't even really have confirmation that there's going to be aliens in the flick. That is how little we know about it. And honestly, that's how good that trailer is, in, in my opinion. I like when trailers kind of just give you like a little snippet of the, of the painting. They don't show you the whole picture because then you kind of know exactly what you're getting into. With all of Jordan Peele's movies, I've never really known what I was getting into until some big reveal towards the end, and I love that. But then there's also the other side of this argument. What if Jordan Peele does just put out a really good alien movie, and it's unexpected? Is that unexpectedly good or unexpectedly bad? Why do people come to Jordan Peele films, and I feel like that's only half of, you're only answering the question halfway. Because yes, he always does give us some amazing horror idea that he's, he's pitched to us that's very original, it's very different, and sometimes his own twist and take on a old Twilight Zone episode, which is kind of what Us was, but I don't necessarily hate that. I love his movies are so original and so iconic. They look a certain way. Like they the red jumpsuits in Us is iconic. If you see someone in a red jumpsuit with golden scissors, you immediately know that is from Us. Boom, like you got that. If you see that picture of Daniel Kaluuya in that chair from Get Out, you know where that's from. Like his movies are iconic. They're staples in, in the horror history at this point, especially because Get Out won a freaking Academy Award, which is awesome. Like horror movies never get considered for that kind of stuff. And that is just amazing to me that that movie won for that. It is so well deserving of that, by the way. That screenplay is amazing. Everything, here, here's, a, here's something I value in a screenplay that Get Out does so well. You have things that are introduced in your exposition, right? That come back to be some kind of important thing later on in the film. Now, there are elements of the this movie where the things will come back for something in the second act, but then it'll also come back again for something even bigger in the third act, which is 
ridiculously intelligent and super genius, Jordan Peele is just a master of horror cinema. One of the biggest things about Get Out, which like, that's super fresh in my brain because I watched it last night. I know that's the second time I've said that, but I, God, I love that film. I could geek out about it for, for hours is the whole, um, the car wreck about his mother, like, dying when he was 11, Daniel Kaluuya's character, and he, it comes back as a big plot point for, um, like, when he's getting hypnotized for the first time, but then it comes back again for when he, like, picks up the housemaid because he accidentally ran her over. He's not just gonna leave her there because it's the same thing that happened to his mother, essentially. That's so fucking good. That's such good writing. Oh, God. I mean, like, that shit just it makes me go absolutely insane. It's like, oh, when you can write something like that and then have it come back multiple times in your story, oh my God, Jordan Peele just gets nothing but applause from me. And there's things like that in Us and Get Out. They're both written so well, and I just, I can't wait for Nope. No matter what it is, I genuinely think I'm going to love it, but I do want to see some kind of social commentary here, especially on something maybe he hasn't touched on already. He talked about, like, racial issues and stereotyping in uh, Get Out, but then he also talked about, like, class, which was a really big theme, which I thought was so interesting for him to comment on in Us. I would like to see that once again here. Just an incredibly different and interesting take on some kind of social issue. Because honestly, that is only answering half the question if you only give us one of those things that is so great about Jordan Peele movies. Like, why I go to these movies is yes, that first and foremost is the social commentary that is always twisted and shown to us in some kind of really dark way. And it's like, oh my God, it opens up like all these all these tunnels in your mind of, th of paths you didn't really think to go down at first. But it, it makes things so clear. It's really interesting how he... Uh, uh, pitches things and talks about the world, but then also he gives you this super original and different horror element to it that balances out with the social commentary very well. It never forgets to be a horror movie, but it also never forgets to drive that social message home. It does both so well, and Jordan Peele movies, I feel like, are the only place you can really get that, where the balance is perfect, the horror element is strong, and the social commentary message is powerful. Now, I want to compare Jordan Peele to another uh, director who puts out amazing movies as well, and is also on his third film, surprisingly, that comes out this year in less than a week. Some of you have probably already seen it. Um, it's called The Northman, Robert Eggers is this amazing horror director. Now, what I love so much about his first two movies is that you have this like period piece element and this really strong horror element mixed together. Now, what I was concerned about going into The Northman, I haven't seen it yet, so I, I really have no room to judge. One of my concerns about The Northman though is that maybe it forgot to be a horror movie and just focus on the period piece aspect of Robert Eggers' Uh, like his what the tools in his in his tool belt essentially maybe he just threw that out there and focused heavily on that while kind of pushing the horror element aside I've heard that's nothing to worry about with this new film because it's super bloody and, and devastatingly gory but um and if that's the case awesome well well done Mr. Eggers you just kill it with every single entry and a lot of people have even said this is his best film so I'm so excited to see this this week and you know your boy will be doing a review about it but so that's one thing I was concerned about because that's something that that's the reason I go to Robert Eggers films I'm not the biggest period piece guy if I'm being honest but what I love about his movies is that he mixes this super strong and original way to terrify you into a period piece it's very scary it's very original I've never quite seen anything like The Lighthouse or The Witch they're, they're movies that are so different and so far removed from just your stereotypical period piece. And that's how I would feel about a Jordan Peele movie that just focused on horror. Just the, just a scary alien coming down and abducting people. It's not, a, it wouldn't be a Jordan Peele movie at that point. It would be such a departure from his beloved style. I don't know if I'd want to see that. So hopefully that's not the case here, but what do you guys think? Leave me something about it in the comments below. I want to say this one more time because like, I don't want people going away from this video thinking this is something that actually happened. It might not have. It might not have actually happened. This is not a reliable source of news, but I just wanted to make that point about like how if this movie isn't both of the things that people love about Jordan Peele's film, it might fail. So that's that was the big point I wanted to make here. Might not be reliable news, but who knows? It could be. It, it may it may be. It might not be though. Also on the other side of that coin. Thank you all so much for watching this new Nope update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, don't forget, if you want to support this channel even further, you can support me on either Patreon or my channel memberships, which if you just click that little join button on my page, BAM! You get an extra video every single week, and then if you support me at some of the higher tiers, you even get some extra other bonus stuff. So make sure to check out all that. The link for that's either in the description below or on my channel page here. Just click that little join button. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all. Thank you.